What's up, YouTube? So we're starting out the video in the truck, going to, right now, we're about, what, 10 minutes away to uh, pick up Ryan's new snowmobile he's been looking. I've been looking to forever. Can't find one, um, like I've stated in the videos, but Ryan happened to find one before me, so we're driving out there to pick it up. Um, Ryan will explain what, what are we going to pick up? What is it? You didn't it's even a, really tell me. 2010 XRS 800 yeah. with uh, 2,800 miles. 2,800 miles. But uh, yeah, I guess I'll update you probably when it's in the back of the truck. We didn't bring the trailer, I have to load it in the back. Give you the whole rundown when we get back to the house. But uh, yeah, because it's always awkward bringing the camera out with random people and I don't want to put the camera in somebody's face and make them feel uncomfortable. If you guys remember last year when, uh, I don't think you bought a snowmobile, he already had one, but uh, I bought my Rev 600, which I only had for like a week, I think, right? What do you think, a week? Maybe two weeks I had a thing in total. When we bought it, the guy switched, which we found out later, he switched the, um, the whole like head unit odometer thing where you could see the miles on it to uh, off another Rev 600 which was in Canada so the miles were in kilometers and uh, so in kilometers so so what am I trying to explain I can't explain it it was basically. like 2500 right Is yeah it was like 2500 miles was, on a no, 08 Rev 600 kilometers and it was an 05 yeah. 05 anyways Based on the condition, it definitely didn't have those amount of miles. If it had those amount of miles, it would have been like in perfect condition. I just didn't want to deal with the problems and I just offed it, planning on buying another snowmobile and then I never got around to it. And we didn't really even get that much snow last year, so it really didn't matter. What snowmobile did you have before this one that you're on to pick up? Other than the one that you- The F7. Yeah, the F7. Or you know you had a Skidoo. Oh yeah, I had a Skidoo 800. Skidoo, what year was, the same year as this one? No. Was it an E-Tech or no? No, it was not just e a Skidoo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just a Skidoo, yeah. I'll update you guys when we get the snowmobile loaded and I'll give you a little run over. All right, we just got back to Ryan's house, stopped at the local Chick-fil-A, get some lunch, but uh, we gotta figure out how we're unloading this thing now. So it was a little difficult getting this thing in the back of the truck with us. Uh... Wow, you're sick, dude. You're so sick. Little more. You're good. But yeah, with uh, the four of us to try and get this thing in. I mean, we got it in, but it's not, wasn't, it wasn't ideal. We definitely should have brought the trailer, but Two grown men. I thought Ryan was bringing the trailer. He didn't end up bringing it. But uh, yeah, we'll give you a All little right, so rundown. There was, there was a sled what? that was 15 minutes away from this one that Tyler could have bought, but decided not to buy it. It looked roached. It I don't know. Look it looked roached. But Ryan, here's the big question right now. What's it going to take to unload it out of the truck and just straight skip it on the pond? It's gonna take What's it going to take? It's going to take for you to give me $200. 200 100 bucks. 100 bucks to skip it right now. If we take it out, you ride it around, get a little feel yep. for it. All right, in that 120? 120. I don't know. Right I don't know. <laughs> what pond are you skipping it on? Mine. We're going to have to scope it out before I shake on it. 120, you'll skip it. Yep. Right now, you'll take it out, feel I'll it out, and skip, skip it. it. I really want it to be a not because his pond's pretty small. It's not like my pond bigger. And then uh, we'll do a little <laughs> run over on it just in case he uh, ends up sinking it. Comment well, at least get a little run over what it looks like. Yeah, it has some graphics on it. If you probably saw from the iPhone clip, but I, uh, I don't know. I don't really like the skulls personally. Yeah, you but could I always get a different wrap on it. I don't know how it's gonna look without it. Yeah, but you can always just get a wrap for like a hundred bucks, rewrap the whole thing, or just wrap the front if you want to keep it. I kind of black on the really side. Just, I kind of want to wrap this honestly. Just get like a piece of wood to put it. A big piece of wood. I mean, actually, I have this. So you can kind of slide it off. So Ryan didn't tell me, but he picked up no, a, his me. new blaster. <laughs> no, it's his brother's, but what is I this thing? For that ugly ass thing. <laughs> Under this uh, cover here, Ryan's other new sled that he got, or his brother's. I don't know why I keep saying Ryan. I don't know what I'm trying to do here, but it is a, uh, what is it? An Arctic Cat what? It's a 2013 F800 Snow Pro. Boom, this thing's pretty sick. I like the white. I didn't think I would like white, but this thing is pretty clean. Super, super clean. He's not here to give it a, a little rundown on it. But. As I always say, if you guys are new and you want to see more, uh, say, snowmobile content or whatever, definitely hit the subscribe button down below. There. You gotta lift up on the back of the slide. 
hook these on because there's too many scenarios where it slipped off. Where are you hooking it onto? So I don't know if Ryan will even do it for $100. If you want to see it, post a comment down below. Give the video a thumbs up. And uh, we'll give you a little run over. Or he can because I'm not really knowledgeable on uh, sleds. Uh, two poles maybe? Three? Just barely gonna fit. Oh, that's hitting. It's gonna tear it off. Yeah, hold. Keep it. Yeah. It's just gonna rip the grass off, regardless. Yeah, it tore it up a little bit. <laughs> just, just put a piece of wood over Ron it. Is gonna murder they'll, they'll never notice. <laughs> nice. Like so said, what's the deal? It's a 2010 XRS 800. Yeah. 2800 miles. Uh, it's got the CNA Pro skis, the KYB shocks that come on the XRSs. So he just um, put the XRS stuff on this, basically? No, it's, a, it's an XRS. Oh, I thought you said he put the upgraded stuff on no, to sled, make it. No, the sled's an XRS. Oh, okay. The sled's an XRS, and then it has the RS seat on it, which is the race sled edition. So they put the RS seat on it, it's got the RS snow flap, huh. and then... That's it, right? Yeah. It's just got, what, six inch bar riser? Six inch bar risers. And, what else? and uh, that's pretty much it, right? Graphics, brand new track. Um, I don't think there's really much else to talk about. He's trying to uh, decide if he wants to take off the wrap or not. I like the skulls, but I do like the white. And... Uh, I don't know. I'm afraid to take it off and see what it looks like and then regret it. Well, I mean, this is going to be black and that's obviously going to be yellow. So it's just going to be blacked out or it's just going to be with skulls. Uh, I could make you up some skidoo. You a good? skidoo logo to put on there. So should I pull it off? You can, I can put a black or a, a yellow or a whatever color skidoo logo on there. You could have skidoo and then just you just, so it just I wouldn't have the skulls. Should I pull it off then? Yeah, pull it off. Yeah, and then there'd be like that sticky residue, but mm -hmm. oh, actually, it looks bad. like it's actually coming off yeah. decent for oh, once. Dang. Yeah, this is coming off super easy without having to heat it up or anything. Don't jinx it. Yeah, I know. This is not very common. This is super nice. Graphic. Yeah, this is coming. Little residue. Yeah, I just got home with it and unloaded it. Boom. It's like brand yeah, new underneath, really pretty nice. much. No scratches, nothing. Huh. Uh, yeah, I'm going to Tyler's to do his book. Ah, that looks a lot better, I think, yeah. now. Way better, once you get those final ones off. You get the under one under here, too? No, it, oh, you took that off? It's probably because, too, we're not taking this off when it's freezing outside. It's actually warm out. Dude, that looks this is the last piece. Boom. Yeah, post your comment down below what you think if you like the graphics on or you like them off. I think this needs to be black. What? The yellow up here black? Yeah. All this black? Yeah. But I think it looks way better than it did. Just a lot cleaner, stealthier, if that's even whatever. But yeah, it looks sick. This is ideally what I want. But six or 800, I don't really care. All right, Ryan, where are the wheelies at? That's what the people want to see. They don't want to see me take it off graphics. Come on. I know you want to. You don't want to tear up the grass. Yeah. That's all it is. But I just like come on, you can't lines. let it sit there and not ride it for at least like 30 seconds. I just like some fresh lines on the light. I know. You could do it. Come on, go in the back at the top. They won't even notice. Get this thing outside in the light. Get a better look at it too. All right, so getting this thing outside in the light. Get a better view on it. It's got the Fox Float 2s on there. Newer track. Already studded. You don't even, you're not gonna stud yours, are you? You're just gonna leave it? I don't think I would stud when I get mine either since I'm most likely gonna try and put it in the back of my truck. I'm gonna get um, a ramp system because I think it's one, cheaper than buying a trailer and two, more convenient. Not having like Ryan always have to pick me up or Justin to pick me up. For like three, 400 bucks, I can get a decent ramp thing to, to use for the back of my truck. 
why not? I don't have somebody that wants to pick me up at the trailer. Post your comment down below. What do you like better if you like this or that? What you would prefer? I know there's going to be some Skidoo, Polaris, Loyal, whatever people that are going to hate on each sled, but yeah, they're really uh, both nice sleds. Well, unfortunately, Ryan doesn't want to do it. The pond's too low. I'm just going to smack the, the bank. He says the pond's too low. And, and it's I don't blame him. That deep the bank at my house is pretty low, too. Yeah, I'm going to just smack the bank. A future video, sure. we'll have them do it. Mark my word, Ryan at some point will either skip my pond, his pond, some piece of water. There's a bunch of sleds on there, but I'm not gonna buy a sled with like 8,000 miles and they still want like seven grand. So once I find the right deal, I still have like two more months realistically, two and a half months. That's when the prices increase and guys don't wanna kind of negotiate on prices as much. Well, Ryan, you happy with your, your purchase for today? I'm happy. Yeah, this thing's really sick. I would have bought it if you didn't buy it. <laughs> Why did he buy this thing? I have no idea. Just a uh, spur of the moment. I hey, I want to buy a blaster. I like what in his right mind is like, I want to buy this. <laughs> what me but hey, can't knock another man for uh, what he likes, I guess. Ryan's got to get to work, recoup from this uh, sled purchase for today. That Tyler Finish off the Oh, there it was, the potential pond skip for today. We should have scoped it out, but Ryan wasn't about it. <laughs> All right, well, there was a process of uh, picking up Ryan's sled today. If you guys want more snowmobile stuff, let me know down below in the comments. Obviously, like I've said, we have a few more uh, months before snow flies. Hopefully, we're supposed to have a, a harsh winter this year, so we'll see on that. But before I end the video, if you guys haven't seen, I'm giving away the OG pit bike. If you want to win this thing, every $5 spent equals one entry to win this. So say, for example, you spend $20, there's four entries. So if you want to enter to win, the link's down below in the description to my website to uh, get stickers, whatever to uh, be entered to win this thing. The best possible scenario that you can win this thing for as little as $5, and uh, I don't think you're gonna find a better deal on a pit bike. The giveaway ends November 15th, and then uh, the video a couple days later will be uh, announcing who won this thing. So get your entries in on this thing, but I'm gonna cap the video off here. If you guys enjoyed it, definitely hit the subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video.